Good afternoon. It's Wednesday, Bible class. We're going to be talking about Acts 1, 1 through 11 in this video. Um, this is a follow-up to this assignment that you did for the first two boxes there. And um, this is my third time doing this video because I took too long in the first two. So instead of just reading through the Bible, which you've already done, should have done, I'm just going to highlight a couple things that I want to talk about. Number one, notice it's written to Theophilus. And if you look at the beginning of Luke, which is the Gospel of Luke, he also writes to the same guy. So we know this is, it's the same author of Acts and Luke. We know that it's Luke on both of them. Another thing, verse 4. Um, Jesus gives the uh, shelter in place, stay at home command, kind of like our governor. And he says, Do not leave Jerusalem, but wait for the gift my father promised which you have heard me speak about, for John baptized with water, but in a few days you'll be baptized with the Holy Spirit. Now when he tells them that, to stay there, it's kind of like, um, we're not very good at waiting. If your folks told you that, hey, you can have a cookie pretty soon, you're gonna be asking, when's pretty soon? When is it? Can I have it now? Can I have it now? Are we there yet? And it's just like with these guys, but Jesus says, stick around, you're gonna get the Holy Spirit, but he doesn't show up for another 10 days. Uh, this is 40 days afterwards, and um, Pentecost, which has the word five or 50 in it, penta, is going to be another 10 days from now. Pentecost is not a Christian um, day of observation, it's actually Jewish, because it means 50 days after, Pen or, sorry, after Passover. Okay. Um, now, you could ask yourself, is Jesus being a frustrated teacher? You know, when he, when he washed their feet in, in the, uh, during the Last Supper, they said, hey, is, is it time now? Well, now he, and he probably could have just done this, like, oh, man, you guys just don't get it. And then he gets beaten, crucified, died, uh, resurrects, and now he's about to ascend, and they still say, hey, is it time and they don't realize that he's not going to be ruling from here. He's going to be ruling up there, but through us. And then he says, you know, it's not up to you or me or whatever to know the time. Just go and spread the word. And then he gives an order. Jerusalem, Judea, Samaria, to the ends of the earth. And that's actually important. Because Jerusalem is where the gospel is first spread to Jews in Jerusalem. Then it's Jews just outside of Jerusalem in the region of Judea, which Jerusalem is in. Then you're supposed to go out to Samaria, those hated Samaritans, the Gentiles, and then to the ends of the earth. You know, really Gentile, really away. So uber Jew, Jew in the area, wannabe Jews to the ends of the earth. And that is the order in which the gospel spread. Then when he ascends, they're all looking up up in the sky after he leaves. He says, I'm going to return like this too. And it's a surprise. He didn't say, you know, a week ahead of time. By the way, in about a week's time, I'm going to take off. So it was a surprise. He said he's coming back that way. And we talked about this several times throughout the year. And that is, is he going to come back the same way? Like he's going to ascend? I think more what he's talking about is going to be a surprise. And he wants to catch you doing his will. And not doomsday prepping for it like maybe some people are doing and stocking toilet paper. Okay, uh, the other thing is, is as they're looking up, it would have really shocked the pants off of them to know that he still hasn't come back for 2,020 years from now. And uh, they're probably looking at their watches thinking, is he gonna come back by dinner time? So then, I, don't know, I, I could just imagine Jesus up in heaven going, oh man, they still don't get it. Okay, angels, go down there and tell them to spread out and go. So they send some angels down and say, hey, take off and, you know, wait for the Holy Spirit. Um, so he could have been a frustrated teacher again, but he's not. He's a good teacher. He doesn't get frustrated like I do. And then, um, oh, I already talked about the cop being good. What I'll do next is I'll talk about the next couple verses in Acts. But let me take this and flip it around. And let's see. Can you see this here? Um, I don't think I can flip it around while I'm recording. So here are my answers for the first two. Uh, remain in Jerusalem, wait for a sign. Uh, it was a modified lottery system 
We'll talk about that next, okay?